because that time I looked like an Ellie. I looked exactly <laughs> like a rat. Acting in the main thing happened only when I went to England, and she caught me and she put me on the side next to her on the sofa, and she looked me straight in the eye and she said, "Please tell me the truth now, Suchitra. How many years have you been acting?" The best life happens when you don't make plans. Or there was some Farhan and the phone man, no, but no, Suchi. And I am or a or a film and that no, Dil Chata hai. And the friends in the party, I na, me or a role change, no. So I said, oh, "Okay, fine." ഒറിജിനൽസ് was slapped safe ali khan slam priyanka chopra guided drani mukherjee and scared the entire malayali she is there on big screen she is there on small screen and she is there on touch screen ladies and gentlemen chhota mare chechi mare for the very first time i have a celebrity guest who has a birthday same as mine swagatam malayaligalude sondam suchitra pillai oh my god hello ma'am namaskaram Hey wow congratulations well happy birthday happy birthday we both just had our birthday yes yes recently. yes ma'am so happy belated birthday to you you too ma'am thank you ah, special aid thonu aadhe aitana celebrate ekane vilicha vishayam nattu valare santosham thank you thank you for having me on the show ma'am usually nammal undallo ee rahasyangal secrets okke korchu kaiyittana choikkara because you know we get used to the celebrity conversation okke vannittu thana pakshe ma'am vannadu kondu mathram satyam parana enikku irippu orakkunnilla i'm so impatient and i have to ask you one secret 20 varshangalukku munbana dilchathay njan kaanunnathu adil oru character ni njan kaanunnu enne munbil aa vyakti irikkunnu ma'am nodu aarengil parnittundo nu ariyilla but you are the brand ambassador of anti aging Either you know what <laughs> when they tell me this when they tell me this all i say is i mean just put it down to the mallu jeans nangalde the coconut oil um nangalde fish um angane whatever we eat i think okay. that is what has stood me in good stead no injections have touched this face i'm telling you frankly i'm 52 okay. years old right now and uh, you know i have not succumbed to botox hotox all of this at all ennalum uh, endengil so, so, yeah. or secret recipe undo ma'am i think ahatte if you're happy you know if yeah. you're happy inside and Very you're true. just comfortable in your own skin and then anengil you know whatever it is whatever okay. life throws that you wish life throws many curved balls at if you can just you know smile it off and and you know not take in life too seriously i think that was kind of, that's what kind of shows out uh, shows from the inside out you know you have to just be be happy and content i suppose where you're at wow simple i to varna uta സുചിത്ര പിള്ളേ എന്ന വ്യക്തിനെ അറിയാത്ത ഒരാരും തന്നെ കാണില്ല ഞാൻ നേരത്തെ പറഞ്ഞ പോലെ എല്ലാ സ്ക്രീനിലും ഉണ്ട് എല്ലാം ആമസോൺ പ്രൈമിലാണെങ്കിലും നെറ്റ്ഫ്ലിക്സിലാണെങ്കിലും എവിടെ എടുത്തു കഴിഞ്ഞാലും ഈ വ്യക്തി ഇവിടെ തന്നെയുണ്ട് സത്യം പറഞ്ഞു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ പേരിൽ പിള്ളെ എന്ന വാക്കുള്ളത് കൊണ്ടാണ് എനിക്ക് ഒരു കാലത്ത് മനസ്സിലായത് ഈ വ്യക്തി അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഈ ആർട്ടിസ്റ്റ് മലയാളിയാണെന്ന് എന്നിരുന്നാലും അറിയാത്തവരായിട്ട് ഒരുപാട് പേരുണ്ട് അവർക്ക് വേണ്ടിയിട്ട് നമുക്കൊരു ഫ്ലാഷ് ബാക്കിലേക്ക് പോകാം ഒരു ക്ലീഷെ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ഒരു മലയാളി മറ്റൊരു മലയാളിയോട് ചോദിക്കുന്നത് മീനാക്ഷി മന്ദിരം ഹൗസ് ടു ദേവി മന്ദിർ ഇൻ തിരുവനന്തപുരം and that's the you know um, the goddess we we follow the sa mandir yeah my whole childhood that preparation boy to you know from uh. every holiday was to mandram and okay. chennai chennai uh, madras my grandparents of my mother's side were okay. though both my parents are from from trivandrum from from uh. both from trivandrum kerala uh, my grand other grandparents lived in chennai uh-huh. but uh, memories are so beautiful sanish of kerala for me okay. uh-huh. because very very not only from childhood our uh, you know vacations like you know was with uh, mamutashi and mm. papa which is who i used to call my grand- grandfather going to the zoo you know in trivandrum that was the favorite thing uh, eating the ice cream over there and uh, going to the zoo that was a fa- famous every every year it had to be done uh, yeah very beautiful times spent in kerala and then of course later on in life my second marriage was also in kerala was had in uh, kumarakom 
ആലപ്പുഴ പഠിക്കാൻ മോശമല്ല തോന്നുന്നു അല്ലേ പഠിക്കാനൊക്കെ അത്ര മോശമല്ല തോന്നുന്നു No, I'm an, an electronics engineer. That's why I chose engineering. No, I've never had a problem. 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 Other hmm. South Indian brain parium. You know, everyone true. says so. South Very Indian true. brain, South Indian. It has to be either doctor so, or engineer. Uh, mm, my sister from the eighth standard, she decided that she wants to be a doctor, and she didn't shift her her focus. Me, I didn't know what I wanted to do at all. But Tang Lasle also, I didn't know what I wanted to do, and I'm still saying, "Arey, what to do? What to do?" By the end of the tenth standard, I got good marks, and then, Pasha, uh, I'm not one of these study people. Na hmm. last minute, I'm a study. Okay, you know, literally last minute, or two or three minutes, or any kind of, we have coffee and sit and study. You know that mm. type of thing. After the tenth standard, when I decided, when uh, uh, I got good marks, and I said I like physics and maths, I was very lucky because at that year itself, um, in uh, a national college where I studied in Bombay, they started electronics as a subject, which had a lot of physics and maths, and you didn't have to do biology, and you didn't have to do a second language. So I was like, yes, because I did not want to do medicine. Other Hundred percent in any academy, you know. I I knew that I did not want to did not want to be a doctor that much. Okay. Okay. You know what else I wanted to do? I didn't know, but <laughs> that I knew. Not so. Sure. This was good, and then after two years of junior college there, I'm hmm. gonna. It's kind of a a brainwash I put. All um, all of them, you know, in that in that class. Okay, you've done two years of electronics. Continue. Let's see how the marks are. And my marks were pretty good, so I did electronics engineering. Adam Jedu. So it was it it was like that. But she at the after engineering, I was never one uh, like a lot of my friends. Um, I'm studying now. I'm doing your MD and then this and MS and MB and all these various things. And uh, I had gotten married in my last year of engineering, my first marriage. Okay. At the same time, I went to London. Hmm. I didn't want to work as an engineer there. I would have had to study two more years to work as an engineer there, and I was not really, you know, very interested in it. And so I said, let's do a whole bunch of other things, and then that's how I started doing a whole bunch of other things, amongst which e acting. Okay, our day, Anna, start I got it. Started over there in London. इनके आ उधर समय तक चोरी किया मैंने ना usually सुचित्र अपने इन आर्टिस्ट ने इन द लोग अपने गुरुवार दे बिरकर याम इन नाल आदियम उर आर्टिस्ट इन द नरेले कांड द मनुष्य ने रूप � സത്യാണോ ഞാൻ പറയട്ടെ അത് ഒരു എലിയുടെ രൂപത്തിലാണ് എന്നാണ് because that time i looked like an eli i looked exactly like a rat <laughs> <laughs> i keep asking my parents i keep kept asking my mother mama you didn't get scared or what you know the, that your daughter looks like this you know like a complete rat you know weren't you ever worried ki how is she going to grow up and what she going to look like and a mother being a mother arilu parnu angane eli pole yana kaananna ayyo i had bug teeth i had bug teeth like this i was this is how i used to look and i was or eli bole you know scrawny thin dark just hair like this with a fringe you know i really look like a rat okay. so um, i really got into that role very easily and okay. that was my first uh, <laughs> opportunity of acting okay. but after that i you know always took part in, in plays in school and college and debate and things like that but seriously i'm going to i am vijayachilla you know that i will be an actor later on in life i really didn't aa samayath padippu mathra irundallo you had never you, you never thought uh, of acting could be something no never going seriously. in terms of no hmm. when i was about 10 i did the musical ani in bombay uh, and when i was about or 12 yeah 13 vayasil i did another play in bombay also called i love you but and um, i don't know that was my acting experience pinne or 17 years ago i was doing a lot of uh, ads bombay le, for tv etc but never acting never acting acting in the main thing happened only when i went to england and it's just like a whirlwind it just happened what a beautiful experience uh, you know it was to to get chosen adana enge chodikkanalla app engineer ay suchitra pillai enganeyana actor aayittu maariyathu when was that moment it is buying a very interesting story and i sanish i never get fed up of of telling you this because it's uh, it's it's what changed my life you know and uh, jennifer jaffrey was a, a casting director in in london said jaffrey or actor his uh, second wife 
yeah so she was a casting director there i was with a model agency in london not with a, not with any acting agency or anything i had never trained in acting at all i was 22 years old and they suddenly one day got a call from jennifer jaffrey saying we are ca- that we are casting for a french movie about the dowry system in oh. india okay. and uh, yeah we are looking for the lead girl okay uh, and uh, you know it's a serious movie with french actors and all of this but we're looking do you have any girl and they said oh we've got one indian girl we don't even know if she acts maybe you can try her only i was the only indian they had on their books okay. so they called me up and they said would you like to try this so i went for the audition okay. at at some time i was actually a hostess in a restaurant they called the bombay brasserie i used to wear a sari every day during the day and i would meet the guests and sit them down and other my very very wonderful experience i you know meeting all film stars and pop stars that's another story adav sandhanya they said you want to go and i said okay man go so i went in my sari for this audition avade kore actresses undirunu you know testing for this part indian uh, british and asian girls kore actresses who were all trained actresses you know or studying in rada shada all of these <laughs> all of these uh, colleges which i okay. had no idea also uh 22 years old at that point and i said chalo let's just do this okay she had given us two scenes of this movie which were very serious scenes where you had to break down and cry at the end of the scene where you're begging where i was begging the that character had to beg this french actress to stay, get her out of this dowry situation that she is in okay that was the scene okay. and on the other scene was where she's lying burnt in the hospital okay so where you don't move you just anyway she gave us 10 minutes to do this scene to to study the lines and anyan care to you know the girl before me anyan care to what she was telling uh, jennifer she said oh jennifer you gave us 10 minutes uh, to get into the skin of this character and we really couldn't and so she did her reading and she left it was my turn i went in there and jennifer was looking me up and down and she said uh, you know who are you and where are you from and i said you know i'm suchitra and i've just come from india i had just arrived you know maybe about less than a year ago to london and uh, she said uh, okay please sit down let's do the reading i said ma'am i would like to act out the scenes for you so she said okay i said i'd like to just act out use the space uh, if you play the other role so she said fine how long have you been acting so i said oh, it's my first audition so she was quite amused then she said okay here take use the use the script i said no i don't need the script i've memorized the scene wow confidence so she said <laughs> yeah so i I'll do engineering i you know you rat of i engineering you should and study no <laughs> so uh, she said i said if i forget some lines or whatever i'll uh, make it up along the way you know at the end of the scene order. the second scene mm, ah, you know sanish the second scene where i had to break down and cry i was so into that into that scene i had actually broken down and i was howling my guts out and i was begging at her feet you know and she was sitting on the sofa and i will never forget her face sanish because she picked me up you know because i was still in it after she said wow okay okay stop you know i was still i was still crying yeah because i was so into the scene and she caught me and she put me on the side next to her on the sofa and she looked me straight in the eye and she said please tell me the truth now suchitra how many years have you been acting and i said ma'am this is my first audition and she said mm-hmm. this is what you need to be doing for the rest of your life you know that and that's what changed my life wow. <laughs> yeah literally literally that so that's how my life changed and i got adinu munbu pashe orikum chindichittu polu illa acting pursue cheyana no didn't even think about it i had done a few uh, um, music videos in in england bali sagu in the dil cheese apache indian in the uh, arranged marriage video other you know via the model agency i had done all of that via the model agency but where only la acting wise nothing but when i was acting we went to there no even to be on a musical video also namak kutti kutti acting il went to there no yeah but that was because i think i was i was comfortable in front of a camera i modeling ok cheyidite illa i was comfortable in front of a camera and being directed by someone to say oh you do this do that i was happy doing it you know but uh, it didn't take much intensity or anything like that and avade script ok onnilla you know you're doing a music video you're dancing around you know that type of thing that's what changed my life and then i was shortlisted the following week the director came from france i was chosen and the following week i was in sri lanka for 6 weeks in a five star hotel shooting this movie as the lead uh, actress in this in this movie so that's my introduction to it which wow. is why i think and and said jafri played my father in this movie so i think he had sent back some reports to jennifer uh saying that you know so when i came back to england she said uh, i'm going to start an agency for uh, for actors and you are my first client wow um you know she became like a, like a mentor who would then she is the one who told me that it's very very important to do theater 
um, because to, to, to be taken seriously in England, you have to do theater. I did radio dramas. I did children's theater. I did regular theater, all of that. And that's how I built up my body of work slowly and slowly. And that's the rest is history. Now, we are in the location of foreign. ഈ ഫോറിൽ നിന്ന് നമുക്ക് സ്ട്രേറ്റ് അവേ ഒരു 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 ഫ്ലൈറ്റ് പിടിച്ചിട്ട് ബോംബെയിലേക്ക് എത്താം ബോംബെയിൽ എത്തിയതിനു ശേഷം എനിക്ക് ഇനി അറിയേണ്ടത് ബോംബെയിൽ നിന്ന് ബോളിവുഡിലേക്കുള്ള ആ ഒരു ജേർണി ഹൗ ഡിഡ് ഹാപ്പൻ സോ ദാറ്റ് ഓഫ് കോഴ്സ് ഐ മീൻ ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് തിങ് ദാറ്റ് ഹാപ്പൻ വെൻ ഐ കെയിം ബാക്ക് ഞാൻ ഒരു ഇരുപത്തി ഏഴ് വയസ്സ് യു നോ വെൻ ഐ കെയിം ബാക്ക് ആൻഡ് ഐ വാസ് സെപ്പറേറ്റഡ് ഫ്രം മൈ ഹസ്ബൻഡ് അറ്റ് ദ ടൈം സാഡ്ലി യു നോ വി ഹാഡ് എ സെപ്പറേഷൻ ആൻഡ് ലക്കിലി ദ നോ ചിൽഡ്രൻ ദർ ബട്ട് ഐ കെയിം ബാക്ക് ടു മൈ പേരൻസ് ഹൗസ് ആൻഡ് യു നോ എൻ്റെ അച്ഛൻ്റെ അമ്മേൻ്റെ i just said to them because they opened with wide open arms you know i was the first ever divorce in my mother side of the family you know it okay. was unheard of okay. um but they were just like no we're here with you and it wasn't an ugly divorce or anything i mean i love him and his family they god bless them you know they they are great people so uh, uh so it was just a, a drifting apart of two people you know okay. i mean uh, it's a wonderful family there you know wonderful people they allowed me to become suchitra pillai you know the my acting and everything like that anyway i came back to india my parents achan no mama amma you know first first divorce in my mother side of the family everything but they were just like no we are here for you you know okay. which i'll always appreciate and okay. one thing i told them is that i will do something with my life you know i will make something of myself on my own steam without okay. you know stepping on anybody's toes you know without doing anything bad towards the values that they had instilled in me that much i promised them so now the idea was irvate vice i or divorce you my you know come to bombay what else do you do now that time music channels like mtv and channel v were really huge yeah and i said wow this is great you know this is uh, wonderful nevertheless i met the gm of the general manager of the channel at a party okay. in bombay one party that was going a british british guy called jules puller he was at this party and uh, i had just come back from england and he was british so he was just like oh you've come from london and he says oh i'm the gm of this channel it's called channel b i don't know if you've seen it uh, you know i'm the general manager of this channel i said yes yes i've seen the channel it's wonderful but it's your loss because i'm not on your channel <laughs> and he was like what I confidence said, again That's exactly what i said it's a wonderful <laughs> channel yeah i said it's a, it's a wonderful channel but it's your loss that i'm not on it and he said do you really mean that i said of course i mean that so he said will you put your money where your mouth is uh, i'll give you a, an audition i said sure why not and uh, the following week i had an audition they just put me in front of the camera and they said convert create your own countdown show for for songs create it now in 10 minutes yeah without a script i just created my own show and i started talking continuously made up songs made up this that and all continued two mm-hmm. weeks later that was had gone to hong kong for approval two weeks later they called me and they said you're on and we are creating wow. a show for you called simply south and that's mm-hmm. how simply south my show which had all south indian music right it was only south indian language music uh, which was entirely my show they created that show for me and that's how they, they launched me on channel b and uh, i thoroughly enjoyed that because they gave me a lot of leeway you know to do whatever it is i wanted to do as far as that show was concerned ellam uh, every week i would go to uh chennai chennai lana uh, shooting you used to shoot there for for my show and i did mad things i would be a coconut water seller i would be a south indian policeman i would dress up like that you know all strange strange uh, type of characters and add whatever i wanted to the script and so that was uh, you know so channel v is what started it out other kind of you know people saw me on tv angane kandapam then word of mouth starts you know oh who's this she's you know we remember seeing her years ago uh, seven eight years ago on tv ad she's come back you know that kind of talk and another great thing that happened for me is as soon as i came back i got introduced to lilette dubey who was doing dance like a man the play and she was looking for somebody to play her daughter in it a double role uh-huh. and uh, that was way back in 1997 okay. and i'm still doing that play wow. with lilette with joyce and gupta 25 years later and we just finished our 659th show of the play on sunday congrats on that ma'am <laughs> <laughs> so it's a crazy life sanish you know plan akka cheyidittu you know nothing happens you know the best life happens when you don't make plans you know it's life life is what happens to you when you're busy making other plans angane aanu i live by that motto you know literally um and ringil avanada you know you just welcome it with open arms because you are the one who's been given that opportunity to um to experience that that part of life and why not who are you to say no to it that's always been my mantra so that and then after that one thing after another and then bollywood then tv serials started coming margarita hit it pure i started doing that okay other kind of turn farhan akhtar 
എന്റെ ഫോൺ കോൾ വന്നു യു നോ ഹി ഇസ് എ ഫ്രണ്ട് വാസ് എ ഫ്രണ്ട് ഓഫ് മൈൻ ഹിസ് ട്വന്റി സിക്സ് ഇയർസ് ഓൾഡ് അറ്റ് ദാറ്റ് ടൈം and um, he had you come and hung out with us in in uh, in london when i lived there etc okay. hilarious witty human being you know he's just wonderful too talented farhan oru dosam farhan inde phone vannu farnu ah suchi njan oru ingane oru film undakunu dil chahta hai ende friends inde pattiyana it's about uh, all of this um nee oru role cheyenu adu i said oh okay so you know means what you know really so he said no no you're doing it Okay, okay. Uh, so I said, oh, okay, fine, fine. And he said, just come to the office. Anyway, we'll have a chat about it. I went to the office. I would have taken another in the office with him. It's Saif Ali Khan. And he said, oh, ah, Suji, come, come. Meet. This is your co-star. Okay. And I said, and, what? Okay. <laughs> he okay. said, yeah, this is you your co-star. You were starstruck at that time. I was like, wow. I've never been starstruck. You've seen all these people all, all around. Yeah. You know, there's no point being starstruck. Everyone is their own person. Yeah. You know, they're all doing their job and that's all there is to it. That's how I, I believe life, you know. um each one to his own you know i saw him and i was like wow and he said yeah you know this is your coaster and uh, i said so what are we doing an audition and he said no 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 audition actually there's a scene where you all are running on the beach both of you stand up and start running on the spot <laughs> so <laughs> that was the audition <laughs> standing me and saif in his office pretending okay. to run that okay. was it so and that's how dil chata happened and it is still talked about today i mean so many years later that role of that one slap yeah that made all the difference it did appo angane ana dilchathaye sambhavichathu mhm how was life after that how much did things change in your life a lot uh, things did change quite a bit because soon after dilchatha one thing after another started happening thanks to ravina tandan who's a childhood friend i got uh, a small role in satta madhur bandar ka satta after that he started using me in all his films like a uh, lucky mascot as he called me uh, you know fashion page 3 laga uh, sorry fashion page 3 uh, dil to bachcha hai ji you know so i did a lot of those a lot, lot of these smaller smaller roles but each role that i've done has been quite uh, you know well defined i would have to say and i had the opportunity of working with brilliant directors like madhur pradeep sarkar um you know farhan akhtar i mean uh, goldie behel you know the the list is endless um rajat kapoor uh, shashank uh, you know uh, shah uh, lots of people so it's been it's been a wonderful journey and life yes definitely changed but then i was also doing tv at the same time as a uh, film i was also a vj so it was always it has always been one thing into another into another my singing was also happening at the same time so i'm doing all of that all of that together uh, and uh, yeah my you know sanish and learn that i always say you know one life to live you know so you might as well fill it pack it in with whatever mm. whatever you can ma'am or rumor und adu ma'am noda check cheyanu vicharichirunnu karena neerittu kaanumbo chodikkala nu vicharichittu it seems like you were uh, audition for a role opposite amir khan that to in jujita vahi sikandar na satyam no I wasn't even auditioned I was actually offered the role I was offered Joji Tawahi Sikandar Aisha Jhulka's role not without even an audition when I was in my in my engineering first year I used to know it through uh, I said no to it because they had seen me in my ads and all and I said no because they had wanted 6 months out of my engineering you know they said you'd have to uh, give up engineering for about 6 months and I was in my first year and then I no parnya da enik admi da pashe but then again angane um parnyal you know my life might have been different it might have been i may not have had all the opportunities that i have now that i've done right now and the things that i've done and worked abroad and you know done two hollywood films and won awards all of that may not have even happened had i chosen that rather than this so i i'm i no regrets <laughs> no regrets Hello, no morning. only regret is ah 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 part pehla nasha pehla yes, huma yes, yes, that's yes. the only regret i have yeah, that one <laughs> song i would have loved to be part of that song alla ma'am bother yenda karan theru bollywood nodu no parnal enda prashnam pote namaku hollywood vannille i want to ask you about your hollywood yeah. projects actually adu endu sambhavichu adu engane ivudna angottu pinne check cheyidu yeah that was wonderful actually i got seen for 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 both my projects here hmm. in india hmm. uh, the first one was for 20th century fox uh, a film called the other side of the door horror genre i know um, you know i think i have this thing about horror as you know in malayalam i've also done horror but uh, uh, you know i was tested for that one and they were looking for a 65 year old woman to play the housekeeper in this movie okay. and it was with uh, you know being shot in india uh, the actors from there sarah wayne kelly the, the actress from prison break walking dead she was the lead act 24 for two children two of them and me in the whole movie and um, uh, i did the uh, the audition and the, the director and all said yeah but she's 
she is very young we are looking for a 65 year old you know and i had done the audition and i said yeah so i mean you they liked the audition right and they said yeah they liked the audition but they like but she looks young you know i was still i mean i was still in my 40s but uh, okay. but uh, still they said no she we are looking for a 65 year old and i said no please slap on the makeup and slap on the prosthetics do whatever you want make me look old and they said seriously they said you are the first actress who have said make me look old you know the because we we looked at a lot of actors over here and they were all like if you want me to look old just add one line here and one line there i said no no no, no please make me look old i don't care it's i'd, I'd love to ma'am avarku nammada nammada mallu secret avare kayil illallo illa 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 so anyway i did that role uh, other guy need to also seen over here for a film called the valley which i'm so so close to this that, that film is just uh, it's what got me best actress in milan and at the long island international film festival after 23 years in the business you know to get uh, best actress award and that to an international award uh, you know was just eye opening moment for me you know this is a very very sensitive film about uh, teenage depression um, okay. it was um, you know about that and uh, i play the mother of a girl who commits suicide and it's it's you know it's all happens between present day and past present day and past and how each one in the family is blaming themselves for what happened Okay. um so a very very poignant film which needs to be seen by a lot of people it opened at the mami festival over here okay. some years ago and uh, uh but we shot in california me and ali khan were in the film as the parents and with other actresses from there and what a wonderful movie and i'll you know uh, so that was my second hollywood film yeah and then and that's the one that got me all these accolades so i'm really proud of that movie and i'm re- i feel very close to that uh that role and uh, came back here and I continue to do I'm continue continuing to do whatever it is that comes my way and o- OTT has been a resurrection for all of us itra joli che did you know I've done so much of work touch wood thank god you know I'm I feel blessed that I've had all the opportunity covid over and you know just forget about covid and all because I got so much opportunity to do so much stuff thanks to um the OTT platforms and that's been absolutely wonderful So it's been a journey Sanish I've seen the beginning of television here I've seen movies like Dil Chahta Hai I've seen you know wonderful things like Channel V you know I've been a compare and anchor I've been a radio jockey like you I've always had my finger in many pies you know a TV presenter I've been I do dubbings now for an actresses in Hindi for uh, all their movies like Meryl Streep Angelina Jolie Kate Blanchett all of them when people say why so many things etra kendna cheyanade you know and I say why not so many things if you're a chosen one who's been given so many opportunities who are you to say no that's my True. that's my logic and you know you just need to make the most of whatever you're given and i just feel i'm so humbled and i'm so blessed that you know at my age 52 i'm still getting the work that i'm getting and i love it i love my job sanish you know i just totally totally love my wow. job doing as i said 659th show of a play after 25 years still doing the same play we've performed across the world and with the same passion and with the same uh, energy that we did it when we did the first show it proves that i love my job you know wow. i just give it my all and i think that stood me in good stead up to now ഒരു ചോദ്യം ഞാൻ ചോദിക്കാൻ മുമ്പ് ചെറിയൊരു വശം ഞാൻ പറഞ്ഞിട്ടുണ്ട് സുചിത്ര പിള്ള എന്നൊരു ക്യാരക്ടർ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഒരു വ്യക്തിയെ നമുക്കൊരു വസ്തുവായിട്ട് നമുക്ക് കമ്പയർ ചെയ്യാണ് എനിക്ക് തോന്നിയത് കൊണ്ട് ഞാൻ പറയുന്നത് ഞാനിത് പറയുന്നതിന്റെ ഒക്കെ കാരണം വെച്ച് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ഞാൻ കുറച്ച് ഇന്റർവ്യൂസ് കണ്ടതിന് ശേഷം ഞാൻ സംസാരിക്കുന്ന വശങ്ങളെ കുറിച്ച് മനസ്സിലാക്കിയിട്ടാ പറയുന്നത് എനിക്ക് തോന്നിയത് ശരിക്കും പറഞ്ഞ വെള്ളം പോലെയാണെന്ന് വേണമെങ്കിൽ പറയാം അതായത് എവിടെയാണ് ഇരിക്കുന്നത് ഏത് രൂപത്തിലാണ് പക്ഷെ അഡാപ്റ്റ് ചെയ്യാൻ സാധ്യതയുള്ളത് ഇപ്പൊ നേരത്തെ പറഞ്ഞ പോലെ തന്നെ നേരത്തെ പറഞ്ഞ പോലെ ആക്ടിംഗ് ഉണ്ട് തിയേറ്റർ ഉണ്ട് അതേസമയം കോമ്പയറിംഗ് ഉണ്ട് അതേസമയം ഒരുപാട് കാര്യങ്ങൾ ചെയ്യാൻ നോക്കുന്നു മാം ആസ് എൻ ആർട്ടിസ്റ്റ് ശരിക്കും പറഞ്ഞ ഇത്തരത്തിലെ ഒരു മൾട്ടി ഫാസിറ്റഡ് ആയിട്ട് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ മറ്റ് കാര്യങ്ങൾ ചെയ്യുന്നത് കൊണ്ട് ഹൗ മച്ച് ഡസ് ദാറ്റ് റിയലി ഹെൽപ് യു ഇൻ യുവർ ക്രാഫ്റ്റ് ആക്ട് ഇറ്റ്സ് ഹെൽപ് മീ ഇമെൻസ്ലി immensely because um, you know uh, being an actor it's all about uh, noticing it's all about studying what's going on around you itra you know various uh, careers that i have done meeting different types of people as an actor that adds so much because straight away if now they tell me oh you've got to play a radio jockey i know how to play a radio jockey because i was one um if they ask me you know to to just play a tv presenter i know how to do that because i was one yeah it's not trying to act then you know it's you you've already been there and also meeting the different types of people it's just been a it's been an amazing journey you know and i think each and every stage of my life all the things that i have done has made me what i am today it really has you know thank god for the family that i have who have been so supportive you know as to where i am you know what has got me to where i am today it has a lot to do with them as well so yeah it's fantastic 
നെറ്റ്ഫ്ലിക്സ് എടുത്താലും ഹോട്ട്സ്റ്റാർ എടുത്താലും പ്രൈം എടുത്താലും എല്ലായിടത്തും ഒരു സുചിത്രമയം എന്ന് പറയില്ലേ അത് കാണുന്നുണ്ട് മലയാളത്തിലെ കെ പി എസ് സി എഴുതാൻ ഒരു നടിയുണ്ട് പുള്ളിക്കാരി ഇപ്പോഴില്ല കേട്ടിട്ടില്ലേ കെ പി എസ് സി എഴുതാം വളരെ വേഴ്സറ്റായിട്ട് സീനിയർ ആക്ടർ ആണ് എനിക്ക് പലപ്പോഴും തോന്നിയിട്ടൊരു കാര്യം എന്താ പറയാ മാമിന് അതിന്റെ ഒരു ഒരു ട്രേസ് ഉണ്ട് ഇമ്പാബ് ചെയ്തൊരു ക്യാരക്ടർ ഉണ്ട് ഇന്ന് പല ഷെയ്ഡ്സും എന്തും ചെയ്യാം ഏത് ക്യാരക്ടറും ചെയ്യാം കയറാം ഇറങ്ങാം ഒരു ഒരു എന്താ പറയുക ഒരു ബാഗേജ് ഇല്ല പിന്നെ ഒരു ഇൻസെക്യൂരിറ്റിയും പലപ്പോഴും കാണുന്നില്ല വിച്ച് ഇസ് എ ഗുഡ് തിങ് ഇഫ് യു ആസ്ക് മീ വിച്ച് ഇസ് ദേർ Yes, Anish, in the industry, you know, that is one big thing that is there. You know, this whole insecurity thing, trying to undercut somebody else, not giving phone numbers, not being, you know, I don't understand that logic, you know. You know, everybody, you know, everybody, you know, what they say, Naseeb mein likha hai, you know, it's written. Yeah, what is yours will be yours no matter what. Why do you have to... step on somebody else's clothes or why do you have to take away an opportunity from somebody else when it is meant for them you know the fact that if you can if you can help somebody out and you can there is work for everybody what is to come to you will come to you if you have your talent and you believe in your talent i've always believed that it will come to you and nobody else yeah my biggest thing i think and i i learned that a lot when i worked in that restaurant in 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 england is you know humility you forms a large part of what what makes it all worthwhile in our industry um there is no point putting yourself up on any sort of pedestal people ask me till today sanish 30 kalam i you know varsham uh, i and i i've still never used a secretary i still have never used a manager i don't have my own staff i don't have my own spot boy 30 years in the industry and i still don't do i don't don't do that and they say so gee what's wrong with you just act like a diva sometimes you know do this sometimes do that sometimes people will take you more seriously but it is not me i'm there to do my work. i'm there to do my job and that's what i'm there to do yeah i love my job i love my acting and that's what i lo- i'm there to do not to pretend to be somebody else and to throw my weight around and you know to act this way or act that way that's not me that is not suchi and i don't intend to be that way you know that's why i think work has come to me touch wood you know because i've got good will in the industry i've got i know people i stay in touch with people and i do my work sanish or a project to teen angle immediately before after that i make i pick up the phone and i'm making calls to casting directors i'm making calls to directors and i'm saying till today i'm 52 years old and i call them up and i say this is finished i've finished a project i'm free ha huh? by the way kuch ho raha hai kya i call i call them up and i and i say that zero ego i don't care i love my work and i will do what it takes to get more work so you know of course let's not go the other way do what it takes to get more work can be taken another way which i have never gone <laughs> <laughs> oh god those have been some funny stories as well okay. <laughs> madam korchu compromise venam yeah and that's it's crazy but you know one always has to stick with one's values but um, yeah as i said this work for everybody here and uh, so the question of being insecure doesn't come into my picture no bollywood ne kadhiyana ipo ketadu bollywood illum vannittund oppathil abhinayichu cold case il abhinayichu appo or chodyam enna nachingile And, and what was the major difference you felt working in malayalam industry at the same time in in bollywood i i loved it you know uh, uh, you know i i totally totally loved it it was just so smooth both the projects absolutely smooth you mm-hmm. know first one priyadarshan uh, uh, was a, is a friend of my uncle um, you know and also another friend of mine in bombay bhavna has acted in a movie of his and she uh, was ch- chatting with him and he said oh i'm looking for somebody to play the principal of this school but you know even though there are small scenes or whatever it needs to be somebody who you know uh, is powerful and um, she said oh why don't you pavan babna said why don't you look at suchitra and sure enough same time he had met my uncle and aunt my mother's brother and wife and they said oh yeah, yeah you know suchitra uh, is there in bombay and he was like okay so that's how i got uh, opam and no audition nothing he just said you're doing the movie and uh, oh what an experience to work with mohan lal i mean to have those scenes with mohan lal just what an experience and Pri- priyadarshan as well he's just just wonderful priyan sir you know the he knows what he wants you know you come on to that set and he knows what he wants angane you know you don't need to have storyboard you know nothing you know yeah tak 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 quick 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 that's the first thing i noticed even when i did um, tanu balak's uh, cold case you know with aditi and uh, aditi i love aditi bal and she is wonderful um you know prithviraj i didn't get to work with him we are in the same movie but i didn't get to work with him but um, a wonderful actor him too with tanu it was also wonderful what a man what a gentleman you know and what a 
down to earth humble human being he makes such wonderful movies and you know just so down to earth it's just that is one thing i love about the south industry everyone be it a mohanlal or be it you know uh, someone starting out are all they're just so wonderful to newcomers to somebody who's just starting out there or whatever the first time i went to cochin we were shooting in cochin uh, for opam the first day so monlan said oh so you like what do you like i said yeah i like i love malayali malayali food and i don't get enough of it in bombay he without saying anything he ordered an entire spread of every type of malayali <laughs> malu food possible for lunch and he said you will eat lunch with me and pray and today and sit down here i said thank god i was wearing a nun's outfit because my <laughs> stomach was so full by the end of that lunch <laughs> but wonderful wonderful people you know um uh, and smooth the way they work really smooth you know the professionalism they say it's going to take this much time it will take only this much time you know okay. and um, that's what i and i would love to do more work in the south i am lucky that i got two different types of roles to play i mean that blind the blind clairvoyant in cold case which many people got scared of mm. also but i seem to have this thing about horror yes <laughs> <laughs> then you must have not seen betal on netflix no, that's, that's another horror one what is <laughs> oh yo karanam come on sanish it's four parts you got to watch it you got to watch it <laughs> that you will see me in okay. another up okay. as well you must see it it's like watching a movie it's four parts so just four four episodes so yeah it's been wonderful i love i'm and anyone listening directors uh, in the south please call suchi back there because i would love to work you would love to see him ini kaanana oru baada aagirundu നമുക്ക് ഇനി അടുത്തൊരു റൗണ്ടിലേക്ക് പോകാം ഒരുപാട് ചിന്തിച്ച് കൂട്ടിയ കഷ്ടപ്പെട്ടിട്ട് ഒരുപാട് ബ്രെയിൻ സ്റ്റോമിംഗ് ചെയ്ത് കഴിച്ച് കിട്ടിയ റൗണ്ട് ആണ് നമ്മൾ അതിന് തീവ്ര തീ റൗണ്ട് എന്നാണ് വിളിക്കുന്നത് എക്സാക്ട്ലി മാം ബോളിവുഡിൽ തന്നെ റാപ്പിഡ് ഫയർ എന്ന് വിളിക്കുന്നത് നമുക്ക് ഇതിനെ തീവ്ര തീ വിളിച്ചാൽ മതി മാമിന്റെ കുറച്ച് മലയാളം അല്ലെങ്കിൽ നമ്മുടെ കേരള കോഷൻ അളക്കാനുള്ള ഒരു മൂവാണ് ഓണക്കാലം കഴിഞ്ഞതുകൊണ്ട് ഓണവുമായി റിലേറ്റഡ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള ക്വസ്റ്റിനാണ് കേരള സദ്യ സാമ്പാർ ഓലൻ കാളൻ പുളിയിഞ്ചി അവിയൽ ഓക്കെ ഞാനത് പ്രതീക്ഷിച്ചില്ല കുഴപ്പമില്ല അല്ല ഞാൻ പ്രതീക്ഷിച്ചു ഉത്തരം തരില്ല എന്നാണ് എന്റെ മനസ്സിലുണ്ടായിരുന്നു പറയാ ഉത്തരം കിട്ടി എന്ന് പറയാം കേരളത്തിൽ എത്ര ജില്ലകളുണ്ട് ഹൗ മെനി ഡിസ്ട്രിക്ട് അദ്ദേഹം കേരള മാം ഈ പതിനാല് ജില്ലകൾക്ക് പേരുകൾ പറയാൻ പറ്റുമോ തിരുവനന്തപുരം കോഴിക്കോട് തൃശൂർ പാലക്കാട് ആലപ്പുഴ അഞ്ചെണ്ണായി ഐ നോ ഐ നോ ഫ്യൂ മോൾ കമോൺ ഞാനിവിടെ നിൽക്കുന്നത് ഞാനിപ്പോ അവിടെ നിൽക്കുന്നത് അതിന് എറണാകുളം എറണാകുളം കറക്റ്റ് കോഴിക്കോട് ഐ സെഡ് കണ്ണൂർ 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 യെസ് കണ്ണൂർ ഇസ് ദേ നമ്മുടെ പാലക്കാട് സിനിമകൾ കാണുന്നതുകൊണ്ട് തന്നെ യുവർ ഫേവറേറ്റ് മലയാളം ആക്ടർ ആൻഡ് ആക്ട്രസ് ഐം പാർഷൽ ടുവേർഡ് മോഹൻലാൽ ഐ വുഡ് ഹാവ് ടു സേ uh because one has acted with him and i've seen his his the way he acts you know it's wonderful i love Mam- mamuti also since my childhood you know so yeah i'm boring like that i'm saying mamuti and mohanlal okay. but um, actress i have to say uh, i mean aditi because she was in uh, this uh, because she was in cold case with me i have to say okay. she was a wonderful wonderful actress to to work with you know i had a wonderful time with her so i like her manju warrior wow. brilliant absolutely brilliant one iconic malayalam film dialogue you like it so much ഒരു ഐക്കോണിക് ആയിട്ടുള്ള ഒരു ഫിലിം ഡയലോഗ് മലയാളത്തിൽ ഈ പ്രപഞ്ചത്തിൽ ഇല്ലോജിക്കൽ തോട്ട്സ് ആണ് കൂടുതൽ മേധാ കടലോലമുണ്ട് ഉത്തരം കിട്ടാത്ത ചോദ്യങ്ങളും കണ്ടെത്താത്ത രഹസ്യങ്ങളും വടമായി ടോക്കിംഗ് അബൌട്ട് സനീഷ് പേടിയായില്ലേ പേടിച്ചു പേടിച്ചു ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് മൈ ഓൺ ഡയലോഗ് അല്ല ഞാൻ ഞാൻ ഈ ഒന്നാമത് തന്നെ ഫുള്ള് ഇരുട്ടാണ് ബ്ലാക്കില് പിന്നെ കുറച്ച് കാര്യമായിട്ടുണ്ട് കാര്യങ്ങൾ കുഴപ്പമില്ല നമുക്ക് അടുത്ത ക്വസ്റ്റിൻ എനിക്ക് പോവാം ഈ ക്വസ്റ്റിൻ നമുക്ക് മാറ്റാം പെട്ടെന്ന് സംതിങ് സംതിങ് നൈസർ ആക്ച്വലി ഒരു വൺ മലയാളം സോങ് 
which is there in your mind oh god this y'all won't even imagine you know Please. since i was a child me and my uh, me and my cousin used to hmm. sing a funny version of this song kadalena kana ponore kana pinnana ponore poi varum pol endu kandu varum poi varum pol endu kandu varum that's much i can remember <laughs> It's a good one. It's a good one. Ma'am, I'll tell you a serious question. One wrong notion about Malayalis generally people have. It's something you want to clear. People think Malayali, all Malayalis speak with an accent. I don't think that's true. That's one thing they need to get out of their system. They just need to look at Mr. Shashi Tharoor and they would know. <laughs> so that's one. I think that's one notion I would want to change about people, um, you know, what they think about Malayalis. Yeah. The last one. What makes Malayali truly special? What makes Malayali special is the fact that they are very welcoming. You can be in a Malayali's house for the first time, and uh, you'll feel just as comfortable as if you've known them forever. And that I've seen not only with my relatives and everything, and how welcoming they are, but uh, everywhere. Even when I travel in uh, the south, you know, in Kerala, it's it's just so prevalent. They're just so oh. welcoming. That's one. Yeah. സത്യം പറഞ്ഞാൽ റൗണ്ട് തീർന്നു കേട്ടോ തീവ്രത്തി റൗണ്ട് തീർന്നു ഞാൻ കൊടുക്കാം എന്നൊക്കെ വിചാരിച്ചു കാര്യമായിട്ട് ഒന്നും നടന്നില്ല കുഴപ്പമില്ല തിരിച്ചു എന്നെ പേടിപ്പിക്കാനാ നോക്കിയത് അതുകൊണ്ട് ഞാൻ അതുകൊണ്ട് മാർക്ക് ഞാൻ ഫുൾ മാർക്ക് അങ്ങോട്ട് തന്നു കഴിഞ്ഞു അത് ഓക്കെ അത് കഴിഞ്ഞു പറയരുത് മാം ഇനി ഞാൻ പറയുന്നത് ഇപ്പൊ നമ്മൾ തമാശകളൊക്കെ പറയുമ്പോഴും എനിക്ക് തോന്നിയൊരു ഒരു കാര്യം വളരെ റിയലിസ്റ്റിക് ആയിട്ടാണ് ഇപ്പൊ മാം എപ്പോഴും സംസാരിക്കുന്നത് ഒരു ഒരു ഫ്ലാഷ് ബാക്കിലേക്ക് പോകുകയാണ് മാം ഒരു ഇന്റർവ്യൂയിൽ ഒരു വീഡിയോയിൽ പറഞ്ഞൊരു കാര്യമാണ് ചെറുപ്പത്തില് പണ്ട് കാലത്ത് വളർന്ന സമയത്ത് യു ഹാഡ് എ വെരി ഹംബ്ലിംഗ് ആയിട്ടൊരു ചൈൽഡ്ഹുഡ് ആയിരുന്നു ഒരുപാട് കാശൊന്നും ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നില്ല എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞിട്ടുണ്ട് പലപ്പോഴും പലപ്പോഴും ചെരുപ്പ് വാങ്ങുമ്പോൾ പോലും ഇപ്പൊ ചെരുപ്പ് തേഞ്ഞു പോവുകയാണെങ്കിൽ യു സെറ്റ് ലൈക്ക് ഒരു കാർബോർഡിന്റെ നമ്മൾ ഹിൽസോ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ അത് ഉപയോഗിച്ചിട്ടാണ് അതൊക്കെ വെച്ചിട്ടാണ് മാനേജ് you know i mean they were never poppers we were never like that always had a roof over our head and good you know good food and everything like that but there were times like this atra paisa on in lernu and you know my parents were just starting out my mother was not working at that time my father was and he had two children to take care of and um, you know children being children uh pare canvas shoes which we used to wear in school are not like the nike's and the reeboks you wear now you know hmm. so Uh, with all the sports and this and that in the school you, they would rub off you know the rubber sole would rub off pashe ella moon moon maasam to buy shoes is you know a little was a little expensive for two two kids so what we used excuse me what we used to do is our, our shoes in the other cardboard we used to cut out cardboard and keep it in there just to make it last a little bit uh, longer till the rest of the rubber uh, rubbed off you know certain things like that make you feel uh, you know the that's why i tell my daughter you know the uh, the importance not only the importance of money the respect for money mm-hmm. and how you know what all people have to do to make it so um, yeah ma'am adana inde chodyam oru pakshe athrathil oru humbling aayittla oru childhood ullad kondano ma'am inna samsarikkumbo you say that oru artist in the nilil plan a mathram pora plan a b c d adinu appuram venam ennu parayunnathu it's always important mm. to guard yourself ennu parayunnathu palappolum ma'am ellavarum parayunna oru kaaryana നമ്മൾ റിജക്ഷൻ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഫെയിലിയറിനെ ഹാൻഡിൽ ചെയ്യണമെന്ന് പറയും പക്ഷെ മാം എന്നോട് എനിക്ക് മാമിനോട് ചോദിക്കാനുള്ള രണ്ട് കാര്യങ്ങളാണ് എങ്ങനെയാണ് മാം ഫെയിലിയറിനെ ഹാൻഡിൽ ചെയ്യുന്നതും അറ്റ് ദ സെയിം ടൈം സക്സസിനെ ഹാൻഡിൽ ചെയ്യും വിച്ച് ഇസ് ഈക്വലി ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് ഫെയിലിയർ സ്റ്റോൺ സനീഷ് ഇങ്ങനെ ഡിപ്രഷൻ ഒക്കെ വന്നാൽ വാട്ട്സ് ദ പോയിന്റ് ഫെയിലിയർ വാട്ട് ഇസ് ഫെയിലിയർ ഫെയിലിയർ മീൻസ് പോസിറ്റീവ് ഓക്കെ യെസ് യു മൈ ഹ് ഫെയിൽഡ് അറ്റ് സംതിങ് ബട്ട് യു ട്രൈഡ് and that should be the more important part of it not the result you know the fact that you tried and you went out there and you tried it yeah so what if you failed at it doesn't matter pick up the pieces and start over what doesn't kill you makes you stronger i always believe in that uh you're here today because you are strong enough somebody up there believes that you are strong enough to deal with every single situation that is being given to you in life which is why i think you know failure you have to you that's how i handle it i don't care you know it, it doesn't it doesn't bother me um like that or yo this movie didn't do well or that you know they didn't appreciate me or i didn't get a a good review or anything like that i did if you know that you have done the best to the best of your ability it shouldn't matter everything else shouldn't matter 
and success how do you deal with success without it without letting it go to your head evde kore kandittund sanish you know in the industry nan one kore algara kandittund who think no end of themselves or or a hit movie you know after one hit movie you know they think number 1 and number 2 and so number game uh, comes into the picture kore experiences you know i have seen uh, close at close quarters of people it's not nice it's ugly yeah for me success is just you know appreciation of what you have done up till now and it is your push to do even better that's what i see success as nothing else actor aitla suchitra pillai thiru mumbilekku nikkumbodi evadiyo paattukari aay suchitra pillai oru back seat edutha pole thonnille yes i do feel i do feel sometimes because that is keeps me alive my singing really does keep me alive and i'm waiting for my second album to release uh, um, or english rock album aanu adu naan lyrics akka naan aanu edikkunathu i have written okay. the lyrics to that it's called history of rock and roll okay uh, ipo release in nokunu we are waiting to see what can happen sadly it was ready just before covid struck you know so that was the delay but uh, it's universal music it will you know it's not uh, it's not something that will go out of fashion it's not that kind of music so um, i'll wait and see but uh, yeah singing is my i love it i totally totally love it yeah being on stage and singing live ma'am thank you so much for coming to the show sherikam dilchatha ayirun parne pole family jeetrulla ella aagrayangalum nadakatte ella nalla pole varatte neengal prarthikunu thank you thank you so much it's been an absolute pleasure being on your show really really so much fun so much fun sunny great ma'am Made in Kerala, made in Kerala